Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In this week's video, as you could read by the title, I don't know why I say this all the time, but I really don't know what else to say, but welcome or welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. And um, I just have a haul for you guys. So as you guys know, we moved into our new place. So I'm still doing a lot of shopping. Well, when I say that, um, I just pick up a few things when we go grocery shopping because I can't really do a lot of shopping with everything that's going around. So I'm just staying home and trying to be safe when I do go out. But these are just a few things that I did pick up when we went grocery shopping at Walmart. And I just wanted to film a little haul for you guys. So the first thing that I have is um, some contact paper and I know I am not going to be wrapping my cabinets in this marble contact paper I actually have a DIY that I'm so excited to do with this um, I'm probably gonna post it on my main channel on my beauty channel because I am going to ow, make a sunglass case holder um, I've been wanting this for like ever I couldn't find the like I couldn't find one that I really wanted so I thought why not make it yourself um, it's going to be super affordable and yeah it's just going to be a DIY so if you really want to see that um, make sure you are subscribed to my main channel my beauty channel which is what is my Kira K I almost forgot my name but that's because I did change my name it used to be glam Z with three A's so it was G L A A A M Z but now I changed it to Kira K but I will make sure to uh, leave a link down below so you can go ahead and check my main channel out and be on the lookout for my video on my sunglass holder, sunglass case, whatever you want to call it. But um, I'm going to be using this for that. And this is a huge roll. Um, I forgot how much this was. I kind of just picked it up because I knew I really wanted it. So I'm like super excited to do this hopefully. I will start on it tomorrow it shouldn't take too long but yeah I picked this up today and then another thing that I got from Walmart is oh by the way so I have like a few things from Walmart and then we also went to the dollar store just to pick pick up a few more things the most of it is from the dollar store and then a few things are from Walmart so it's a mini Walmart haul but um, I feel like the older you get, the more things like this excite you. So I picked up a Swiffer and I'm so excited because um, I was at my mom's recently and she's been wanting to pick one of these up and she did and I used it there and I really liked it. Um, I just feel like this is so much better than the ones where you fill up the little bucket and spray and wipe down because the um, the little mop pad thing gets so nasty and no matter how much you wash it, it just never gets like really clean and I didn't want anything like too expensive or too like big and bulky or like those steam mops because um, I do live in an apartment and I don't have that much flooring. Uh, most of the apartment is carpet. The only place I have bare floors is the kitchen the bathroom and then the little um area in front of the door and it really isn't that much so like i said i didn't want to spend too much money buying a whole like mop situation because my place is small like i said and i don't have that much storage to store a huge bulky mop so um the best option was this and i really wanted to try this out so yeah um i'm like super excited to use this yeah, I'm getting very old, but I'm so happy for this. And then moving on to the last two things that I got from Walmart was this shower. What is this called? A shower rod. And I do have a rod in my uh, shower right now, but the one that I have in my shower, you cannot adjust it. And it's like it goes in like a curve like this. And um, when I put my sh I bought two shower curtains and when I put them on actually three because I had one at my old place so I brought it here but anyways the whole deal with that is the shower rod is way too high up and when I put my shower curtain on it is like short and there's like like that much space from the ground to the shower curtain and I'm not a fan of that I did not like that so I've seen I've watched a video and um, I'm not sure whose video it was but honestly even before I watched the video I had this whole idea of um, 
of just buying regular curtains to put in my shower. I already have a sh uh, shower liner, so I was just gonna buy a rod to put the shower or the curtains on. And um, so I was watching a video, like I said, and she used um, outdoor curtains as her shower curtain. Apparently, outdoor curtains are treated against like water and like mold and all that. But the ones that she had were like over a hundred bucks. I think it was like around. 200 bucks and I'm not willing to spend that much on shower curtains, especially um, Us living in an apartment and it's temporary hopefully and well it is of course, but um Yeah, I just didn't want to spend that much on shower curtains here because I like to change things up So yeah, I wasn't willing to pay that much for shower curtains. So the next best thing was these these are just 84 inch a sailcloth panel pair and hopefully these are <laughs> long enough I haven't tried them out yet but these are 84 inches so yeah I'm just going to put these on the rod and then just hopefully work some magic if these are short enough I know um, walmart.com has like 93 inches and 104 or 103 inch ones and um, I've ordered curtains from there before and I really liked them so um, I'll just maybe end up doing that if this is too short. Hopefully it won't be. But yeah, I picked up some curtains. And that's all I got from the... That's all I got from Walmart. So moving on to the stuff that I got from the dollar store. This is honestly like half of the stuff because other half I have already um, like took out of the bag. So we bought silverware. I did have silverware that my mom... Um, if you're not Turkish, basically... If you're Turkish, you probably know what this is, but um, before you get married, your parents do this like, should I even tell, listen, okay, anyways, my mom bought me silverware that I have, and like, it's really cute, right, but I feel bad using it, so I didn't end up using any of the silverware that we have, it's packed away in storage right now, but um, of course we needed silverware, we need to eat. So I just picked up uh, fork, spoons, and knives from the dollar store. Listen, you get a two, um, you get a pack of two for a dollar, and yeah, I just picked up a whole bunch of silverware from the dollar store that I already put out, and then my husband also bought like a whole bunch of things for grilling. Oh my god, summer's coming up and they have like a whole bunch of grilling stuff at the dollar store for only a dollar, and Originally, my husband just dropped me off so I could just, you know, shop in peace. But I had to send him a picture of what they had. And he literally came running into the store to get some stuff. So, yeah, he got all that too. But this is all that I have that I wanted to share with you guys. So, the first thing that we have is a, I don't even know what this is, like a back scratcher, massager my husband picked up. I don't know if we'll ever use this, but we have it in case we need it. And then I picked up this colander just to wash like stuff. I already have one, but it's like wired, it's metal. And anytime you like drain pasta or like wash fruits and vegetables, it gets stuck and it's like really nasty. And yeah, I just wanted a plastic one because I know I'll get so much better use out of this and it'll be easier to clean. So I just picked one of those. And then I just needed more some like plastic Tupperware. I tried to get like glass Tupperware, but oh my god, it's so expensive. And yeah, so I just, I was at the dollar store and I needed some, so I just picked these up. I know they have glass Tupperware, but they're like really tiny. And I got them the last time I went there, but this time around I didn't see any, so I couldn't pick any up. But this is what I got. Um, these are a little bit better than the really cheap plasticky ones, because these are like hard acrylic almost uh, plastic but yeah these last way longer and they don't stain so yeah I just picked up two of these and then I picked up a thing of toothpicks because I don't know I just feel like this is something you need in the house so I just picked up a pack of that and then I've been wanting a measuring tape so I just picked um, one up from the dollar store. It's only 16 feet but I think I'll be fine. I just want to measure around the house a little bit um, for once um, I'm going to go like furniture shopping and um, stuff I see online. I just want to measure my space before I make I actually make any orders just in case. 
because I don't want to mess up anything and I'm so excited wow I really never thought I would be excited over things like this but honestly guys Things like this make me so happy now. Like the other day, my husband bought me a screwdriver and I was over the moon and it has like attachments to it. It's like one whole thing, but like you can like switch out the tip. It's like the coolest thing ever. But now I'm excited. Um, just more things to add to my little toolbox that I'm so happy about. Okay, so that was bag number one. Moving on to bag number two. Um, I just bought some bubble bath because who doesn't like bubble bath? I don't really care for this. I just wanted some bubble bath, so I picked some of that up. And then I actually, listen, I have a story to say about this. I actually picked up one of these like mason jars, or it's a mug, um, a while ago, but apparently you're not supposed to put hot water in here because the bottom literally like snapped off and broke. So I had to toss that in the trash, obviously. So then I picked up two more because my husband got jealous and said, why aren't you getting me one? I never thought he would like something like this, but apparently he did. So I just picked up two for me and him. And then, wow, guys, I was going through my cleaning stuff with with, with everything that's going around. I, I was going through my cleaning stuff because I was cleaning my house. And I never never realized that i actually do not have an antibacterial cleaner right from all of, out of all the cleaning supplies that i have none of it is antibacterial and with everything that's going around i just wanted a antibacterial cleaner because i just yeah i just needed this so this is the spick and spam everyday antibacterial antibacterial spray cleaner so this disinfects kills household germs cuts through grease and grime and it's in the scent first citrus and yeah i just wanted this i know this is a good brand and i got it at the dollar store for only a dollar you cannot beat that but yeah i just needed this around the house with everything that's going around like i said and you can use this in your bathroom kitchen and on your appliances on the exteriors don't use it inside but yeah so i just picked one of those up look at the color isn't that cool it's like neon and so bright anyways that was bag number two moving on to bag which one should i do I'll leave the best for the last because I'm like so excited about that bag. So bag number three, we have um, just four packs of Ziploc bags. Listen, the Dollar Tree knows what they're doing. For a dollar, a pack of 52 bags. So I just picked up four of those. I know it's not good to use these. I really try to limit my use on these. If I can, I do recycle them and um wash them listen if it's nasty and oily we throw it throw it away but if i can i do try to wash them and recycle them and use as less as as less that i can as less as i can you know what i'm trying to say but yeah i picked up four packs of those don't come at me i'm sorry okay so then my husband picked up a pair of salad tongs as if we eat salad every day we needed some tongs in the house but i guess we could use it for other things and it's kind of plasticky and cheap but he wanted it so um then we have a knife i don't know how to say that we have so many knives we have like a whole thing of like knife sets i don't know why he needed to get an extra knife but we have one in case we need it. It's probably for his grilling, for his steaks and all that. But we have a knife there. And then um, he picked up a waiter's corkscrew. I think it's a bottle, bottle opener. I'm not sure. But we have one of those. And then I just picked up some tea light candles for my wax warmers. Just to use around the house. And then for my last bag. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna save the best for last. So I just picked up more of these um, breezy fresh linen fabric softener sheets, and I, there's like a little hole here, and they smell so good. So I just picked up one of those for our laundry, and then I picked up this faux mounting tape for the project um, that I'm going to do for the. Um, sunglass holder thing just to mount it on the wall because i don't want to use any like screws or anything so hopefully this should do the trick and hold it if not i'll probably just buy some command strips 
but I'm gonna give this a try first. And then I just picked up some uh, Dial antibacterial soap in the scent lavender and twilight jasmine. And then we have a cheese grater. Just needed one of those. And then we have a ladle. I realized I didn't have a ladle at home, so you know, just needed a ladle. And then we have this is just I don't know. I just bought it just to see if it would work. But this is a citrus squeezer. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see if it works. I wanted to give it a try. So I think, oh, I think you just put the lemon in here and then just squeeze it and it's supposed to like get the juices out. But we'll try that out. And then I just picked up another Betty Crocker measuring cup because the one I have right now, it's too big. Like it doesn't have one third, two thirds, you know all these smaller measurements so I just picked up one of those and then I didn't um, have uh, one of these I think this is a silicone 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 basting brush from Betty Crocker but it's just a silicone brush just to brush on like your egg wash or anything that you need so yeah I just picked up one of those and then my husband picked up the like blocks puzzle oh, oh it's an eraser that is cool but he picked up two of these for his nephews for my sister-in-law's kiddos to play with since we don't have kids here and we don't have toys they can play with these when they're here and then the last thing that i have guys i was so shocked when i found these oh my god i am blown away I found some foaming lashes at the dollar store. Can you believe that? They're 100% handmade. Foaming lashes. 3D foaming lashes. Like, are you... Look at these. Can you look at these? I hope it's in focus. I really hope it's focused. The focus, yeah, it's focused now. Can you see those? Tell me they're not the prettiest thing for a freaking dollar. You're kidding me. I got four styles. Um, I don't even know what the names are. Oh, is it? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the brand is Tony. Like I said, they're 100% handmade 3D foam ink lashes. I cannot believe that you can get foam ink lashes at the dollar store. And they look really good, too. Like, I'm literally so excited to try these on but that was the last thing that i got and i really hope you guys enjoyed my little haul um yeah i hope you enjoyed this so if you did then please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out my main channel i will leave a link down below and follow me on all my social media which is at kira k vlogs i only have well let me back up. My Snapchat is still GlamZ, so it's G-L-A-A-A-M-Z. And then my Instagram is Kira K Vlogs. And my main channel is Kira K. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. And bye!